This is Beauty or Bust, where we try out the beauty world's weirdest products and find out if they're worth your money or a total bust. Oh no. <laughs> Today we'll be trying out the Prinker, a device that prints temporary tattoos in seconds, apparently. So if you're thinking about getting your first tattoo, or you've got one that you wish you hadn't, then the Prinker could save you from a lifetime of ink regret. We're using the Prinker Pro, which costs $550. For that, you get the printer device in either red or blue, ink cartridges, two rechargeable batteries, and a 300 milliliter bottle of skin primer. We're gonna rate the Prinker on how easy it is to use, how close to a real tattoo it actually looks, its effectiveness on different skin tones. We'll also test to see if the ink is water resistant like its manufacturer Sketch-On claims it is, and whether or not it actually made you want to get a permanent tattoo. For the first test, I'm picking a pre-made design on the Prinker app. Once you've made your mind up, you upload the design to the Prinker via Bluetooth and you're ready for printing. So I've picked my design, which is a, uh, a small diamond. Um, I just want to check a small, simple design and see how the lines come out. So the Prinker's ready. Here we go. Well, it looks like a five-year-old has drawn it, to be honest. The, the lines are supposed to be black, but you can see where the red, blue, and greens have separated. So it's a pretty fuzzy image, and it doesn't look like a tattoo. For my second test, I'm uploading a custom image via the Prinker website. I want to really test the Prinker, so I've picked a design with lots of detail and texture. For non-techie people, this process could be a bit tricky if your image has a background that needs removing. So now I'm going to try my custom design, which is an owl sitting on a skull. This one's got a lot more detail. Like the first one, there's a lot of, lot of colour bleeding in there. Yeah, there's no detail. Again, this was just supposed to be a black tattoo. Doesn't look like an owl. So let's see how it copes uh, on other skin types. I've got some of my buddies coming in. Uh, they pick their own designs and uh, we'll see if they get on any better than I have. It does smell like Turkish delight. It, it, you it, it smells like solvents and Turkish delight mixed together. <laughs> the design that I've chosen is basically kind of inspired by my grandparents because it's like a combination of both their names and I kind of wanted to put it on because it's meaningful to me. So um, I'm going to give this a go now. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> it's come out as kind of a bit of a, a smush as you, as you can see. There was a little bit of time pressure involved there. Okay, right, so round two I can actually see some letters now. I can see wow and her and dal, which is the first part of my grandmother's name, but then it kind of goes at well, had so it's not really spelled out properly, but like, that's pretty smudgy. Okay, so I'm gonna try out this printer device. I picked one that's got a few colors in it, so it'll give it a good workout to see how well it actually prints out. So uh, let's give it a try, I think. There we go. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so it looked like it started pretty well. So you can see Hawkeye's little symbol, Iron Man. And then when it gets to like the actual real characters like, towards the end, you're like, nah, I'm not really, I'm not too impressed with that. It looks like a discount tattoo, like a budget tattoo. Nah, not feeling it, not feeling it at all. So how did we rate the Prinker? Well, first of all, ease of use. You've got to say it, one out of five. The process of picking a tattoo is easy, but actually printing it can be a nightmare. We had issues with connectivity, which was made worse by the fact that the Prinker app is only available on Android. We had issues with ink bleeding, sometimes leaving multicolored smears on our skin. And because of the bulkiness of the device, you're left with limited options when printing on different areas of the skin. How close to a real tattoo does it actually look? Two out of five? From a distance, 
it probably looks like a tattoo, but get a little closer and you might think that Insider have opened a nightclub and this is my entry stamp. What about its effectiveness on different skin tones? For this we gave it a 4 out of 5 because we don't actually think that that's an issue. It probably works about the same on, on everybody. Is it water resistant? 5 out of 5. So if you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, your prink is going nowhere. And whether or not it made us want to get a permanent tattoo, we're only going to give it 3 out of 5 because although it gives you the freedom to experiment with shape, size and placement, it just doesn't look like a tattoo. I can see the appeal for people who want to try loads of different tattoos just to see what they look like. And I can also understand if people would want to use it as a creative tool for self-expression. Uh, in theory, you could give yourself a, a sleeve for the weekend. But if you've got a specific tattoo in mind and you just want to see what it looks like before you commit, there are cheaper and easier ways. So, is it worth the money or a total bust? Well, the Prinka doesn't quite replicate a real tattoo. If you want the real thing, you're going to have to get some needles involved. So, I'm sorry, but this one is a beauty bust.